S H A W N G A L L E T T. We sadly watched Crush versus Tatanka in what I'm certain is the worst and also the longest lumberjack match of all time. You know, it's a good thing that uh, I watched this this match on Tuesday because I'm kind of over it now. Uh, yeah, I remember being absolutely you, you lucky bastard, completely atrocious, which was why I went off on. No, it on... Brian did not overstate things or overreact. No, this no. match was horrible. No, it was one of the worst matches I ever saw in my life. I'm so happy we're moving to TNA. Yeah, it was uh, complete insanity. You can't really recap this. You can write things like Vikingo does Vikingo things. And Commander does Commander things, which are not the same things. Commander things are very different than Vikingo things. I love me a spot fest. Vikingo, when he's got Drillistico in the corner, he's, he gets up on the top rope, and he does a full flip in the air, catches the guy in head scissors position, then flips the other way. Unreal. That guy's going to be something. And granted, did you know that in the room right now is an Emmy Award winner? I know. I want to congratulate wow. you, Wow. Thank you. The only one here who's ever achieved anything of value. Nice work, Shane. <laughs> Way to go, buddy. <laughs> Let's see this big gold Emmy. Wow. Look at oh, that, everybody. Wow. Holy smokes. That qualifies. That's prefer to hold it by thing. the bottom to it as well. Let's get a picture for the front page. Yeah, you want it. <laughs> <laughs> If someone were to get you a cameo, who would you want it to be from? Who would be the second choice after The Undertaker for Granny? <laughs> oh, my mind was somewhere else. Are you awake today, Granny? <laughs> oh, what's the question again? Any... Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry. What game show do you think you could go on and win? Wheel of Fortune. I'd like to see that, actually. Do they have a really old people week? Seniors edition? Yeah. Uh, wow, well, they have... They have someone uh, spin the wheel for you? <laughs> Granny, they say that Washington is a hot spot for UFOs. Is there any connection between aliens and Bigfoot? The animals are aliens. What? So you're telling me that my cat is from another planet? Yes. The cat from outer space. Where are you at on all, birds? You're that. all programming, you guys. That one. What? My cat is programming me? Actually, yeah. my cat does probably program this. Well, yeah. yeah. Due to Brian's birthday, Brian versus Jungle Boy. Jungle Boy looked a foot taller than Brian. <laughs> he's not a foot taller than me. God. He's got the big poopy hair. He's, he's maybe. What is that noise? <laughs> Greg's not laughing. He, he, he looked taller. This was sure. with you and Vinny against uh, Chris Drysack and Ideal Mexican. Mexican, Mexican. Yeah. yes. Brian pulled uh, Chris's panties down in the back. Yeah. His panties. <laughs> yeah, he saw his Rysack. S A J W N G A W R E T T. S A J W N G A W R E T T. His name is Sean Gary. I thought Mabel showed more personality in this match than he has in all of the tag matches that he's been in. And I thought he moved very well. I will not crap on your point. Like, Brian, Vinny, I thought he did fine. Well, what the fuck kind of a radio show are we going to have? We don't crap on each other's points. What is this? That's, that is it. I, that's it. I agree with Vinny. Wrestle I enjoyed joy. this match. But Shawn Michaels has okay. openly talked about he went through a lot of substance abuse issues in the 1990s. <laughs> if I didn't know any better... He may have abused some substances before this promo. He doesn't uh, like cocaine, but he does enjoy the smell. <laughs> Orange Cassidy needs to keep this title to the end of time. The heat death of the universe needs to be the, the only thing that ends Orange Cassidy's. I'm afraid you'll, you'll run. turn on the guy eventually, Vinny. Who is going to beat Orange Cassidy? That's a great question. Yes. Fantastic question. But this is a historic run. Mm -hmm. People will speak about this. Obviously, to a lesser degree, because less people are watching, but this is far surpassing John Cena's U.S. title run, which, oh, was, God, yes. which was quite great. Yeah. MJF comes out for a promo. This is one of those segments where, like, it's really good. He's awesome. Adam Cole was awesome. And I I can nitpick some of the material they use, and I'm going to here because it's my job. I'm not sure I would have pointed out that Adam Cole is really skinny, or maybe people think perhaps this MJF fella is abusing the roids. MJF essentially said, you're only here... Because you were too small to make it in that other place. And there's some truth to it. So I kind of buried him. Uh, you know, Don't point out your baby face's biggest weakness. By the time this segment was over, Adam Cole was so over with this crowd. 
He got these people looking at him like he's the guy that should beat MJF. So from that perspective, this was a giant home run because he didn't come out of this looking like just a guy. He came out of this looking like a big-time star who held his own with MJF, much like Ricky Starks did that one time. Mm, yeah. And they didn't do anything with Ricky Starks much after that. But they're going to do something with Adam Cole here. This week's Tony Khan major announcement. Tony's not very good at these, and to be cr- frank, he's not getting any better. When I watch these, I think he taped like seven in a row, <laughs> and they've just been split up over seven weeks because he's in the exact same place. Interesting. I think wearing the exact same clothes. Our they should do part. a different green screen every time. Like, you know, this week he's on the beach. This week he's on Mars. This week he's in Lance's house. Just to kind of mix it up a little, you know what I'm saying? See, the thing with, with Baron Corbin, and this is me being a unbiased journalist here, because he blocked me on Twitter a long time ago, and I'm not sure why. Probably because I talked about how much his stuff sucked on the main roster. But it's not... <laughs> That'll do it, by the way. You know, it's not, it's not him. It's the stupid shit that they have this guy do. I mean, they put him in a position to suck, is what they did. And then they made a storyline about how he sucked and was ruining everything with his sucktitude. Stack says, I put in some calls into Kim Karstashian. Tony's like, ooh, I don't know if I want my feet in the hands of Kim Karstashian. All I know is in 30 seconds, I got Kim Karstashian's name stuck in my head. I could not tell you the names of the dyad for $1,000. The therapist steps out. It's a hot blonde. Actual pornographic film music starts. And he winks. And as he winks, we hear bing. And he smiles and goes in the room. Okay. Dying. One of these women is well known on social media for having a well-liked buttocks. Mm. Okay. I don't know how you say that in 2023. People really like her ass, I think is what... Uh, Actually, that's exactly how they would say it in 2023. Yes. And, uh, and I know this because when she was eliminated, the fans were irate. They were furious that she had been tossed out. After that atrocity of a battle royal, this was exactly... This was exactly like Tatanka and Crush in that Lumberjack match. Yes, that's a good example. She threw them out, and this place absolutely lost their shit. Those, uh, the twins, Haley and Hannah... The Cavender Twins. The Cavender Twins. Yeah, they're in the ring. And uh, they're front and center, taking up all the camera, holding Thea on their shoulders. Meanwhile, the announcers have to get in a plug for all their shit. They then went to uh, Braun Breaker, who challenged Seth Rollins to come to NXT and defend the world title. And then I think they cut back to the thing again. And these Cavender Twins are sinking. They've still got Thea on their shoulder. They've had her up there for like five minutes. And she's all, hey! And the fans are happy. And hey, at the end of the day, what's the point of wrestling? To get shit over. And they got Thea over. The fans were so happy to see her win. But the match itself was god-awful. 